What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another video. Before we get started, I just want to say thank you to all of you guys again because we have finally reached 500 subs and that is a really good feeling to me and I can't wait to get to a thousand and further beyond. Seriously, I love all of you guys and I love making videos. I'm glad that you guys like watching me do the silly shit that I do. Now, you guys already know what we're getting into from the title of the video, obviously. I bought myself a set of brand new Faction Fab FR Spec coilovers. Definitely a step up from the Racelands that I bought a couple years ago. It's definitely a step up from the stock suspension I'm running right now. Faction Fab is a pretty good company. They have a couple of different coilovers for the WRXs. They have the F spec, FR spec, and then FL spec. I chose the FR spec, which is more of their track oriented coilover because it's got a couple features that I like and I thought would be good for me. 32 way adjustable dampening, it's got independent height adjustment, lock wave washers, and a couple other good features. Front and rear camber adjustment and also just the overall like quality of build and I've seen a lot of good reviews for it so I figured I'd give them a shot. I already set the preload in all four of these so now we really just have to set the height and throw them on my car. I figured I'd make life a lot easier and not make you guys watch that. I know there are a million other coilover install videos out there so I'm not gonna walk through how to do this entire thing but I will set you guys up, do a couple time lapses and explain what I'm doing so that you can you know, follow along with me and pretty much just kind of enjoy the video. I feel like I have to make that disclaimer because a lot of people think that I'm a how-to YouTuber and I make how-to videos, but it's not really the case. I make installs and, and shit like that, but it's more of just entertainment. And if you learn from it, that's awesome. But I'm really here to just entertain, that's all. I went over to Pedro's earlier to grab an impact gun because I didn't have one, and he told me that this one might not be strong enough, and I was like, nah, it'll be fine. It's not. He just brought me the Milwaukee so I can actually take my wheels off and continue with the install. So, uh, back to the time lapse. <laughs> So because I'm doing this at home with the super tiny jack, I wasn't able to pump it up all the way enough for me to get the wheel off. So I'm gonna have to pretty much do it corner to corner uh, for all four corners. Well, at least for the front. I don't know about the rears, but for the front, definitely. So we're gonna bang those out. Quick overview for those of you guys who haven't seen like previous videos or any coilover videos. Uh, very easy to do. You've got two 19 millimeter bolts on here. You're gonna wanna grab a box wrench and then a socket for this side take these off and then pretty much this whole thing will swing out but make sure you disconnect your brake lines these are 12 millimeter bolts up here and on this side as well and this whole bottom piece will be free move right up to the top and you've got these three bolts right here at the top hat these are 10 millimeters i think or also maybe 12s but remove those and then the entire thing will just shimmy drop right out this is definitely doable and super easy for all of you guys that may or may not be worried about doing this for your first time at home. It's super easy. This is like my third or fourth time doing this. I already got both of those 19s out. Took a little bit of oomph, but just had to be a man about it. So this, like I said, in the bottom is completely free. All I gotta do is take off these three bolts up here and the entire coil or sorry, strut will just drop right out. And for me personally, because I had brace lands on there as my first set of coilovers, I uh, have a 13 millimeter bolt, but this should normally be a 10 or a 12, I believe, OEM. Boom, super easy. All I had to do was just kind of shimmy it a little bit because it's cruddy and disgusting in here. Look at this beautiful, not garbage coilover versus this disgusting garbage stock strut. This is not my second set of stock suspension that I'm getting rid of, so if somebody wants it, have at it, please, it's all yours. I apologize if the video seems kind of jumpy. It's just me today, so I don't really have a cameraman. Me, myself, and I, so it's kind of hard for me to get certain shots, so if you miss a little bit, or if I if I forget to pick up the camera and record because I start working too much, I do apologize, guys. I got the front two struts out. I've got both coilovers in. They're not actually really low as of right now. I just kind of threw them in and gave them like a base height for right now i'm gonna go adjust them later but that side is in i'm currently just finishing up with uh with this side just gonna measure it up make sure it's the same as that one and then we're gonna move on to the back and 
Then I'm gonna go out for a little road test, see how it feels and give you an honest opinion. This is what I mean about the video being jumpy though. I did all of that and didn't get a chance to record it, unfortunately. But as you guys can see, everything is in here. I just gotta put the bolts on. I did throw any C's on this time around because I learned from my first couple of times putting coilovers on, especially out here. We definitely need them. Everything is going pretty smoothly. Got one of the rears out already and pretty much about to get the other one out. The only issue I'm having on that side is the top hat bolts are kind of rounding off on me a little bit, which is a little concerning. They're not too bad yet. I stopped before it got too bad, but I'm just, uh, just hoping that this will not be the one thing that will stop me from doing this. Coming to the conclusion that I don't have a deep socket 12, so Dom's gonna go grab one for me real quick. Thank you. I also fucking broke one of the studs on the old strut, which is crazy. But I mean, these things are so old and rusted and like leaking. One of them, the springs almost like popped out on us while we were taking it out. So that was pretty cool. Glad I got these when I did because I feel like some, some bad shit would have happened if I had waited any longer. <laughs> Yay, we got it out. Good job, Don. I didn't do it. No, no. Fine, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Coilovers are in completely, fronts and rears. I'm currently readjusting the fronts right now because there was a weird rake. I didn't want to show you guys that, so you'll see the finished product in one second. Cameron just left. The rears have a pretty good tuck. They look nice. They're not sitting right up on the fender. There's actually, oh, like a finger of, 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 of gap in there and they're sitting pretty good. So I think that's gonna stay as it is. I'm just gonna adjust the front to make it a little bit, a little bit nicer and we should be golden. Same thing on this side. I mean, this one's a little bit tighter, but that's because of this fender, so. But yeah, for eyeballing it, I think I did a pretty good job. I am honestly kind of a dummy with directions. It be like that, my boy. Yeah, fun, oh, okay. Fun fact, anytime I uh, have to do anything on my car that involves turning a wrench, if I forget the direction, I just have to remember like, which way did I crack the oil pan bolt at Subaru? You guys may be asking yourself, wow, Jacob, why didn't you just get like ISC coilovers or Fortunatos or BCs or some other big main main brand? I was going to, but I just, I've seen a lot of reviews for these ones. They look like they might be a really good brand. I've wanted to try them for a while and they weren't as expensive as the rest. So I pulled the trigger on them and now we're gonna give it a shot. A month from now, I'll give you a video and tell you how they are and uh, kind of just go from there. Just a heads up though, these are the FR spec, not the F spec. So that means they're more track oriented, meaning they're not necessarily gonna be the most comfortable for the street, but they're definitely, definitely good for track use and you know, taking tight turns and spirited driving and stuff. I haven't had one of these in forever, but hashtag for the bros, we out here. We adjusted the front just a little bit to get it uh, to sit more even. And once it's settled, I think it'll actually look really nice, but yeah, dude. She's lowered again. She's no longer on those disgusting blown stock coilovers. I mean, struts, excuse me. I want to I wanna get to a quick road test. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. She seemed pretty good. Finished product, guys. Did a quick little drive with it over to this little spot that I'm at now but I wanted to show you guys how it looks, how it sits. It looks way better than stock. And honestly, you can still see that I have a little bit of gap, but I like that. I don't want a crazy stance boy look with camber and everything. I'm looking for more of a track fit, which is why I went for track coilovers. These look good, they feel good, and I'll see if I can get you guys some driving clips.
like steering response, I mean, dude, it feels great. There's no body roll. Well, I mean, there obviously there's body roll, but like significantly less than like there was before, and it feels, yeah, like that was that one's just stupid. I don't know why I took that in second gear, but it feels really, really good. stoked with how these coilovers feel they look phenomenal i hope that they last god geez that's a big bump i hope they last because uh they are nice and i also don't want to have to do this again but they feel good super confident in the corners sorry if you guys are getting a lot of wind noise yeah dude I'm happy with the factory fab FR spec coilovers. So far, they've been they've been pretty good. I'll uh, make another video. Ah! I'll make another video kind of as like a, a, a review over time to see how they hold up, like as far as you know being seized, as far as ride quality and all that stuff. But thank you all for watching. Please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Is that you up there? Yeah, it is. Fucking obnoxious ass motherfucker. Jesus.